Welcome to Tuesday's Market Outlook here at Wealth Creation Investing. Matthew Buckley, Chief Investment Strategist here at WCI. And the clown car continues here, folks, uh, over Syria. Obviously, last week, the president did a just great job rattling his saber. And then after the Brits bailed out and their parliament said no, uh, the president decided, well, I, I better climb down out of this tree that I'm in solo and said, well, I'm going to go to Congress. And then... Uh, Secretary of State Kerry went on all the Sunday talk shows and said, well, actually, yeah, he's going to go to Congress, but he, even if they say no, we can still strike. It's <laughs> Okay, then what's the point? It, it really is an absolute clown car. Here is Kerry with Assad a couple years ago having dinner. Uh, the guys met him five times. Uh, he called him a reformer. And remember this, folks, during the Bush administration, uh, uh, Kerry – Biden uh, and Clinton and Chuck Hagel, Secretary of Defense, absolutely excoriated George Bush and Condoleezza Rice for what they were doing with Assad, right? Remember Assad uh, killed Prime Minister Harari in Lebanon? And uh, Syria was a main jumping off point of al-Qaeda into Iraq. We asked Assad to hey, stop the flow of fighters from Syria in Iraq. He never did anything about it. So we put him on our bad actors list. Hegel, Biden, Kerry, and Obama ripped the president apart and Pelosi for uh, saying uh, Assad was a bad guy, right? Uh, John Kerry, he's a buddy of mine. He's he's a reformer. Clinton called him a reformer. Hagel, hey, what are you doing? This guy's great. And here is this uh, clown car full of people now wanting to uh, attack this guy. So very interesting uh, what's going on in Syria. And very interesting that, you know, the liberal media went out of their way to show that picture of Donald Rumsfeld shaking hands with Saddam Hussein, right? Ten years before, 15 years, ages before. Uh, and that's when, what, Iraq was actually uh, fighting Iran. So who did we pick? We picked Iraq in that case. So, of course, Rumsfeld was going to meet that guy. Now... In the liberal media, you're not going to see any of these pictures of uh, Kerry and um, uh, Assad meeting, or you're not going to hear about Hegel or Biden saying uh, this guy's a great guy and yelling at Condoleezza Rice to engage him and everything like that. Now you're just going to uh, hear all these war drums being beat. So, folks, it's... <laughs> No, n nothing good can uh, happen out of this. And it's very eerie how the Israelis are being very, very quiet. Uh, and instead of just saying stuff, they're actually launching test missiles. And it, the stakes are huge, folks, right? We don't do anything. The guy gets away. He already used chemical weapons months ago. We, he got away with, so he used them again. And here we are debating. And, you know, the president today said, well, any strike will degrade his, you know, chem chemical weapons ability. Well, since we've given the guy about a two-week heads up that we're coming, I'm sure they're going to be dispersed. Uh, but obviously not doing anything, folks, is bad because Iran is going to sit there and go, pfft. Everything's fine, man. They're not going to do any. The red line, are you kidding me? Let's not only make uh, our nukes, let's make them faster and funnier. So two years of feckless diplomacy have gotten us to this place. Market is having a little bit of a relief rally today, obviously, uh, on uh, yay, a yay moment. Uh, we were up as high as a buck, you know, 20 on the Dow, and now we're only up about 40 as I'm shooting this. Uh, we we're up about 16 on the Spoos. Now we're only up 10. So there goes your uh, relief rally, quote unquote. In the primary live trade brief today, we put on a weekly uh, bear call spread on uh, SPX that's already up 500, 500 bucks right now. So in about a half an hour hour of trading, I sold into this rally and we're already up 500 bucks. Also put on a uh, bull call spread out to October on the VIX because I knew the VIX was going to spike again. And we closed out a, a VIX position on Friday for about $3,000 in profit. So this is this is great time uh, to be trading, guys. This is an, uh, We're having an absolute blast here. I mean, look at this. The primary live trade brief model portfolio is up nearly $10,000 uh, today. Why? Explosive September, right? We have so much going on in September from the Bank of England, the ECB, stuff going on in Italy, Portugal. We have our FOMC meeting. We have a budget fight. We have a debt ceiling debate here in the United States. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, good news today on ISM. ISM 55.7 crushed expectations, the highest since April of 2011. What's that mean? You can more or less kiss any talk of the taper not happening goodbye. That is, of uh, of course, in this holiday shortened week. On Friday, we see just an out-of-the-blue miss 
on non-farm payroll. Remember that one month? What was it four, or five, however many months ago when we ha- we had an eighty-eight thousand, which just n- complete missile out of the blue. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I think non-farm payroll comes in line, uh, even ADP uh, that comes out on Thursday because it's it usually comes out on Wednesday. Obviously, holiday short and week. Even ADP is calling for about a buck uh, eighty-one in in new jobs there. Unemployment rate supposed to stay uh, level at 7.4%. So here's what's going to happen, guys. Unless uh, if the numbers are really good on unemployment, the market either stays where it is or goes down because that assures a taper. If this is absolutely horrible, I think the market stays the same but doesn't go up because we're going to taper. So the message uh, today, folks, and, and we did it during our live trade brief, like I said, was the selling of this rally. This was a relief rally, quote unquote, based on Syria not getting bombed today. Uh, and when the market was up 110, 120 points, we, in the live trade brief, like I said, we sold the hell out of it. And it's already uh, uh, it's already profitable as this market's starting to melt down a little bit. Great moves uh, in our model portfolio out of emerging markets. Uh, our Japan position is up $4,000 alone today. Uh, even Brazil, even the Shanghai, the Shanghai's having a, uh, at least the FXI, up a buck 17 today. So as, uh, and we've taken the counter trade here at Top Gun Options as people as quote 500 pound heads are saying, oh geez, emerging markets are going to get killed. We've actually, that, that that's where the Soros's, the Cohen's, uh, the Paulson's, that's where they make their money, folks. They don't make their money following the crowd. They look at where the crowd isn't and what's beaten up and that's where they go and that's what we've been doing here at Top Gun Options with uh, incredible success of late because capital is going to go somewhere, guys. It's going to flow somewhere and if it's going to flow out of the United States on fears of a taper, it's going to go somewhere. It's not going to go under the mattress. Treasuries are a joke uh, and I think emerging markets are actually going to be a potential uh, safe haven against a Fed taper. So uh, good stuff going on here at Top Gun Options and also wealth creation with options. Uh, so it's going to be a very interesting week. Uh, we have some other economic data, but obviously all eyes this week are going to be uh, on the Fed. So um, not not too much some vehicle sales. Uh, Thursday we'll get some uh, uh, non-farm productivity and labor costs along with non-manufacturing PMI and some factory orders. But like I said, all eyes are going to be on Friday. But regardless, unless something is completely out of the blue, we're all all head full towards the September 17th, 18th Fed meeting and uh, get ready for the uh, for the increase in volatility. Okay, all right, guys, got to run. Got a lot of trading to do here at Wealth Creation with Options and Top Gun Options. Make sure you sign up for our live event, uh, the end of October, October uh, 28th and 29th. So if you're living someplace cold, get down to Fort Lauderdale for our two-day trading event, full day of training, full day of live trading. Get to interact with us, get to interact with your fellow uh, traders, and it's going to be a, a great place uh, to network and maybe go hang out on the beach. All right, guys, got to run. Have a great week, and I'll be back uh, tomorrow over at Top Gun Options with our sit rep. We'll see you.